Yeah, and that's how you let that whole note, like, you know what I'm saying? Because to her, the way her mind is wired, that, you know what I'm saying, left, whatever you give her, that shit is along the same lines as sex. You feel what I'm saying? That is the black bitch's way of strangulation. You know how them white hoes like to be, choke me, fucking choke me and shit like that. And nigga like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Bitch, I'm not even supposed to be fucking you. You to my bitch, you crazy, ho. I'm not even supposed to be in this motherfucker with no white hoe. God damn. The fuck is you talking about? Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I am A.O. Conseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation and the Men Too Movement, and this is... Are you fucking serious? As you know, Lil Yo, you can't see his head right now, but Lil Yo, well, Lil Yo the second is um, rocking the Men Too Are You Serious t-shirt, which is only $20, go to paypal.me forward slash are you serious 10 Order your shit now. Um, make sure that you go to change.org and sign a petition. That is the first thing that you will see in the description box. The hot link is right there. Sign a petition because we about to talk about this shit. All other um, Are You Serious t-shirts are uh, $15. And the headwear, of course, is only $10. Handle your fucking business and get your shit together, big homes. Uh, especially on their change.org shit. Um... Bow Wow got beat up. Everybody find it funny. This is my problem. Um, I'm looking at the mug shot. I'm looking at this mug shot. Everybody looking at the mug shot and shit like that. You look at this mug shot and you see... You see her just as pretty as ever. She just as pretty. Why did he go to jail? That's the, the question is, why did he go to jail? I'm sure y'all, I, I, the, the screenshot is somewhere, y'all see the picture already. Why in the fuck did he go to jail? You can see that he's been fucking fucked over. You can tell. You can tell what the fuck happened, but yet and still, a nigga still go to jail. And it's just, I, I don't give a fuck about, you know what I'm saying, all bow wow, all that, let's, let's just laugh and shit like that. I'm not on that shit no more. What we on now is Equality. If a nigga come home drunk and just beat his whole fucking family and shit like that, go to jail. If a bitch start tripping and just start beating a nigga ass, go to jail. But because a hoe don't want to go to jail and shit like that, she beat a nigga ass the fuck up. A nigga trying to, oh, man, hey, whoa, shit, whoa, come on, man, chill out, there, man, chill out. You hit me. Bitch, you hit How does the law work? What, what is domestic violence? Domestic violence is uh, two people stay in the same house and shit like that. Uh, you want to stop domestic violence because it can lead to people dying and, and kids growing up, you know, getting beaten, all that shit like this. But I'm saying, if I come to a house and I see this, and I'm trying to decide who the aggressor is, it's not really that. I, I would give a fuck what the whole say. Give a fuck what the whole say. This nigga's beat up. Whatever the fuck happened, you initiated this shit. You started this shit. You started it. Anything that he did was a, a byproduct of what the fuck you were doing. So if he pushed you to fuck, whatever the fuck, it was because you was on him like that. We're not going to go into all, oh, yeah, you know, Bow Wow got a, a anger. It, I don't, that's not, no, he don't got no anger problem. And this is, this is, they feel like every black man got an anger problem. Well, fuck that. For, for that matter, any man has an anger issue, so a bitch just ain't mean. Like, we don't all live with hoes. Meaning, we, like, we all haven't been in relationships, and we know how retarded these hoes get. Like, we don't, like, we know that a hoe feel like she can put her hands on you. 
she feel like that's her right. And a nigga should just take it. If that's the case, let's do what Kevin Gates say. Thought it was legal to beat your hoe. Nigga, your hoe? You know what I'm saying? Like, some hoes truly feel, let's get into it. Some hoes truly feel like if we don't fight, if you don't hit me, you don't love me. I'm telling niggas, we're going to get to, you know what I'm saying, what I, what he did wrong. We're going to get to that. But if you're not built like that, to give a hoe that kind of pressure and shit like that, you need to jump out that situation. It's not hard to tell if a hoe is like that. You know what I'm saying? In a lot of cases, she'll be a, extremely aggressive. And she's depending on you to meet her level of aggressor. You need to be just as fucking aggressive, if not more. I, you really should be more aggressive when she gets out of line. So that means she'll try you in a big way. You out in public and she just, I don't want this shit. Just throw, throw the plate or some shit like that. It's some fucking bullshit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just on some shit like that. In that situation, she trying to see where your heart at. She expecting... If you don't do shit right there, when you get in the car, you pose a got, you know what I'm saying? You pose a belt that hoe, dog. Bitch, the fuck you think this is, hoe? Your motherfucking teeth out, bitch. Come around this bitch like that. But the issue with that shit is that it never stops. You think you might, you know what I'm saying, do it to a hoe, you know what I'm saying? And that whole understand, you know what I'm saying? Like, that nigga's not the one to play with, and it don't go like that. She expect that type of attention and that type of pressure in every situation. You need to let that whole know that you there. And that's how you let that whole know that, like, you know what I'm saying? Because to her, the way her mind is wired, that, you know what I'm saying? Left, whatever you give her, that shit is along the same lines as sex. You feel what I'm saying? That is the black bitch's way of strangulation. You know how them white hoes like to be, choke me, fucking choke me and shit like that. And nigga like, whoa, ho, whoa. Bitch, I'm not even supposed to be fucking you. You to my, bitch, you crazy, ho. I'm not even supposed to be in this motherfucker with no white hoe. God damn. The fuck is you talking about? I, bitch, I ain't know you hit a hoe from the back, whatever like that, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, you know, just grab the whole neck, you know what I'm saying, but she just keep on putting her hand on top of yours, squeezing, you know what I'm saying, squeezing tighter and shit like that, like, what the fuck, you fucking choke me, Say she said so sweet and shit like that, no, I ain't with, you know what I'm saying, you trying to keep, you ain't really trying to have no conversation while you fucking, whatever like that, fucking choke me, you know what I'm saying, like, what, what the fuck, what's going on, you know what I'm saying, and she, she start moving real funny, like, do it, fucking do it. Like, come on, man, don't throw, come on, don't throw the rhythm, ho. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even supposed to be up in this motherfucker, man. I'm not finna choke you, dog. You fucking crazy. Got long fingernails and shit. I'm not finna, man, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just, but that's, like I said, it's, it's, that's a black hoe. That's her. You know what I'm saying? Her, because everybody wants to do taboo shit. You know what I'm saying? Every hoe is freaky. You know what I'm saying? If she don't show you she freaky and, and she say I ain't with that freaky shit, she fucking lying. Every hoe wants to be a stripper. You know what I'm saying? Every hoe wants to be pissed on with that R. Kelly shit. You know what I'm they want to have a secret life. You know what I'm saying? That's why, you know, cheating and shit like that. That's why I work so well. It's like I'm doing something I'm not supposed to be doing. You know what I'm saying? Every hoe wants to in indulge in the threesome because you're not supposed to do that. Just a lot of hoes don't have the confidence you know what I'm saying? To let another person see them naked. That's all that is. You know what I mean? And, and some hoes don't do drugs. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? The only way to do it is if you get... you know, So it's just, it's just a, a lot of crazy shit in the mind, whatever. But every hoe wants to, you know what I'm saying? Get into that. You know what I'm saying? That, I like that freaky shit is what it is. Something like this. Oh, we're not supposed... No. So that's their shit. Their shit is, you know what I'm saying? Like, put your hands on me. And in the makeup sex... Let's make up for it. It's, it's fucked up, and it's and I'm, I'm telling you, this is why 
if you get a bitch like that, it's not going to work. That's, I, I, that's what I'm, I'm trying to tell you. It's not going to work. If you're not on that type of time, it's not going to work because there is no logic. There's no rationalizing. You can't logically speak to her because what she, that her brain, that's, that's a wiring in her mind. She's hardwired to only be able to orgasm with a person that she fears. You know what I'm saying? She can only come if her mind is telling her that this nigga that's fucking me, I can't beat him. He is like that's that's if you can't beat my ass, then you can't beat my ass. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't beat it up if you can't beat my if you can't beat me up, you can't beat it up. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's just how they rocking. Soft ass nigga. That's how they wired. Nigga, you won't even beat me up. Nigga, how the fuck? You know what I'm saying? You soft ass hoe. And that's what it, and that's what you got right here. And that's what you got right here. I'm talking real life right now, my nigga. And if you don't want to hear this, my nigga, as I'm telling you about your hoe, you don't want to hear this shit, handle your business. Yo, let your hoe, you know what I'm saying? Tell you, turn that bullshit off. That's bullshit. Listen to me, though, dog. I'm trying to tell you now. Watch who she cheat on you with. Watch how that nigga don't give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? That nigga be to knock the whole tooth out this whole mouth. This whole running around, this whole black eye the fuck up, but she running behind this nigga and buy this nigga anything he want. Driving the car, wrecking that hoe. This I'm, let's get, because we ain't finna go down that road. Let's get down to what he should have done. As far as by a while, like I told you, when you got a hoe that'll fuck you up like this right here, I'm sure I'm sure the sex is great. I'm sure you know what I'm saying, but like that's that's what I'm telling you though. Don't, like once you get to that level, like you you gon' like use that shit, use that shit. Um, shout out to my nigga Big C, finna get married in a minute. Shout out to him. But um, he said that Sierra came out with saying that you know what I'm saying nigga got a little dick and all that shit like this. So I could maybe the nigga don't want to fuck too many hoes because he don't want it to be a um, consensus. You know what I'm saying? Um, for everybody to come together and say the same thing, whatever like that. So he want to keep shit in a little little box or whatever like that. I don't want to fuck too many hoes. I don't, I don't know, but I'm trying to see like why would you be stuck? This hoe is fine. I I, I haven't seen what a body look like, but that's what I'm saying. Nowadays, if you on that, you know what I'm saying, type of level that bow wow on those, it ain't nothing to just get whatever hoe and just raise that bitch. You know what I'm saying? You can just get whatever bitch and raise her. You know what I'm saying? When I say raise her, you don't have to get a hoe that's 16 year old to be able to raise a bitch. No, but that's another thing too. If you're gonna raise a hoe, you gotta have something that, that hoe, you know what I'm saying, don't got and never heard before. And you would and Bow Wow would have some shit like that because he's been places and done things that a lot of people haven't done. So I guess he can give her a lot, he can he can raise her in the sense of, of Hollywood, but then he also run the risk of get, getting dead like Chris Brown with the whole uh Karuchi and shit like that. Soon as she get on and shit like that, now she telling you, stop screaming my name and song, you fucking weirdo. What you didn't call me, bitch? I'm not going out. I'm not going out. That and that's I'm, I'm I'm trying to put it in your head and make you understand. That it ain't no such thing as real love, true love, that shit don't exist. And the reason I'm going to tell you that is the same reason I tell rap niggas, don't get in this industry until we get something fixed. Because I'm not going to tell you the, the success stories, Michael Jordan and, and LeBron James and shit. I'm going to tell you about what the majority, what happens to the majority of people when they come in this door. And the majority of people right now are getting fucked over. You have to focus on yourself at this point in time. And listen to me. Once you become who you need to be, you will be around and amongst people who are on that same level. You will walk with a different type of bop, not walking like a scavenger. You know what I'm saying? Like a fucking peasant. And, and now motherfuckers feel they can do you any kind of way. And that has a lot to do with this situation also. Um, let me talk about it. Um, you have a rotation of hoes that you can fuck with. Um... 
this whole probably, you know what I'm saying, she fuck good, whatever like that. But for y'all to be fuck like fighting like that, this whole is self conscious about something. Obviously, she she's self conscious about something. Whether it be um um Pussy stink don't like to clean her pussy. Understand? Listen to me now. I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to speak on all this shit, dog. Listen to me now. A hoe on the first, for the first month or so, when you fuck, it could be just water, whatever like that. Like, the hoe know how to do it. She know how to do it, whatever like that. But the hoe don't want to do that shit. That's the same thing with a hoe that she can wear her hair out. Like, she can get up an hour early and do her hair and wear that shit natural. But she don't want to do that shit. So, when you first meet the hoe, it's all natural. Because you let her know, man, I don't fuck with that weed shit. It's all natural, all natural. It's all water, it's all water. But as she get used to you, and that's why in the first month, this hoe doing everything the right way. So, you can go ahead and be like, oh, man, this the one. I've been missing this. I, this is all I need. Now, you done moved in. Now, it's all love, everything, everything. You know what I'm saying? You walk in the door, it's head, it's whatever. Love, I'm going to help you with all that good shit. But then as time go by, she start falling off. You know what I'm saying? What she feel like she saved up in that money doing everything right is, is a little leeway to slip here and there. And all of a sudden, them slips become long-ass slides. Not no just slip. No, it's a slide. You know what I'm saying? A, a long, and this is who the fuck she really is. That's what that is. Once y'all get together, now they show you who the... Not once you get married, you locked in. Now motherfuckers show you who they really are. Because we in it for the long... Once once a motherfucker get pregnant, now she show you who she really is. That's why I hope do everything the right way in the first month. Because she wants you to feel comfortable. Like, even if I do get this whole pregnant, it's love. But then once that pop off, now you see what the fuck this whole really is. Motherfuckers wonder why once a motherfucker get pregnant, motherfuckers just go their separate ways. They're like, because this... This, my baby mama ain't the bitch that I was fucking before she had my baby. You understand what I'm saying? My baby mama ain't the motherfucker I was fucking before she had that fucking baby. These is two different motherfuckers. Maybe it's the motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, the mental disorder from the, the, the postpartum depression. I don't know what the fuck, but this hoe right here, she on some other shit. And you'll start noticing that shit as soon as the hoe get pregnant. But furthermore, through this shit, dog, what, what, what he should have been doing, um, reading the signs, understanding, because I've been telling y'all niggas, as soon as the situation gets heated, the first thing you need to be doing is getting it straight in your phone, get you some space. That's the first thing you do, get you some space so that you can go on the phone like you need to. See that? You got to be quick with this shit. Turn that motherfucking camera on. Hey, what's going on? So you wanna, cause I'm hearing this shit was over him wanting to go to a Super Bowl party without, I don't know how that shit worked. You know what I'm saying? But we grown ups. There, there's no time that we should have to go to blows for a disagreement. We have a disagreement. Hey, I, I, I don't think you should do that. I'm not with that shit. I feel like you cheating on me. Hey, I'm not with that shit. If you go, I'm leaving. Not if you go, I'm gonna beat your ass. But these bitches nowadays, listen to me. I, you want me to give you an age range? 16 to 45. Anything outside 45 and shit like that, you might be good. But 16 to 45, you got an issue, dog. You got a fucking problem. And when I when I say a fucking problem, I'm talking about the majority. When you find you a gym, you need to be, you know what I'm saying, watching for the signs. Pay attention to the signs. And if you cannot see the signs, speak to somebody who can, dog. Be fucked up by this motherfucker. But turn that goddamn, as soon as it get heated, turn that goddamn phone on. So you just, so you don't want me to go to the Super Bowl party because you don't understand that I've been, had this plan, you know what I'm saying? I've been had to go here. Like I gotta, I gotta host this fucking party. So why the fuck I can't go? It's not that type of party. I'm going up here to handle my job and I'm coming back home. It's not that kind of party. I, I, I know what kind of party is. Hey, listen, I gotta go ahead and ride. I'm just gonna go ahead and ride right here. Now, he ain't going no fucking well. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and ride. 
You ain't going no fucking way. So, no, you got your shit together. Get your shit together. Have everything recorded. If you got to run out the door, whatever you got to do, handle your business. Because that's going to be way better than getting a fucking domestic violence charge. Having to bond the fuck out and possibly going to jail. So let the motherfucker call you lame, whatever the fuck they want to call you. Get your phone out and get the fuck out the door. Get your shit together. Because the whole probably going to start, she going to start tripping before you get your clothes on. So now you put your pants on, she dragging the pants down. And that's, and see, that's the whole thing. You don't want to be no hoe. So you don't want to bring the phone. Like, come on, man, stop tripping. But she's not going to stop tripping, dog. She's going to keep the fuck on. Her goal is to not let you come out that door. And she's going to stick to that shit. So after she didn't play with your clothes and all that shit, now she's going to stand in front of the door like this here. Y'all know what's going on. She's going to stand in front of the goddamn door so you can't leave. And now in order to get out the fucking door, you have to remove her from that motherfucker. Fucking domestic violence. If you go, I'm calling the police. You can't even put, don't be putting your hands on me. Hey, man, I'm trying to leave my house. Every door you try to leave, I should stand in front of that motherfucker. What the, hey, what is it called when you're in a, when you're in an institution and you can't leave? What is that called? Okay. Turn your goddamn phone on or just live your life. Live your life in your fucking prison. Live your life in that goddamn prison. Or turn that goddamn phone on. Or better yet, man, look. You're right. You shouldn't have to turn your fucking phone on and all that shit like that. Let me tell you something. The first reason why I came up with turning your phone on, anytime y'all get in any type of, you feel like a, something heated is about to happen, you know when it's going to happen. The reason I said turn your phone on is because it was actually to save the relationship. Record one of you guys' arguments. She's not going to think nothing of it. You can turn your phone on it. Because she probably don't respect you and I need to speak more about bitches not respecting Bow Wow and that's why they do this shit. But turn the damn phone on, record the argument, and then when in times of peace, say, hey, I want to show you the video of when we got into it last week, whatever like that. Now the things that calmed down and shit like that. Let's see if we can go and see, like, why are you trying to bring that shit on? Why? See, every time, see, this is what I be talking about. Every time we get, get in a good space, you want to come bring up, you always try to start shit. All right, sweetheart, why do people go to marriage counseling? Ain't that to bring up the shit that happens in the house? I'm doing the same thing they do. We can actually see what's going on. I'm trying to show you that even your physical features look different when you get mad. You're beautiful. To me, I love the way you look. You're unique in your, your image. I think if you saw what you sound and look like, what the fuck you trying to... If, if she do that shit, it's time to go. But if she say, you know what, let's watch the video and let's see what's going on. Because she's trying to get to the bottom of the situation also. You can't just fuss a fucking problem away and hide from the shit. Because it's going to continue to come up. You catch AIDS, ah, fuck that shit, stop bringing that shit up. Ma'am, I'm your doctor, You, I need to tell you what the fuck... How the fuck you being so... That's retarded shit. I've seen a bitch uh, getting uh, sentenced in court and shit like that. This hotel told the judge to shut the fuck up as he's trying to tell her what her sentence is. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. I don't want to hear that. Like, that's, dog, that's what you're dealing with. If a bitch don't want to see what the fuck she did and see, hey, this is what I was saying then. I'm, I'm bringing it to you now as we calm down because now we can think rationally. That was the reason why I brought, that, why I came up with this. But I never got the chance to watch the video with the bitch because she was that way. As I'm taking down these roads, I'm taking down these roads because I didn't already travel them. I seen the signs. I, I went the wrong way on all these motherfuckers. So all I can do now is try to direct people. Hey, man, that, that road right there, dead end. You're going to go down two miles. It's going to say it's a fault, but it's a dead end on both ends. Come on down on 98 and go up about four miles. You're going to get to a traffic light. Make that right. You know what I'm saying? And that's how, but if you're not going to take the shit, when shit like this happen, people are all going to laugh at you. I'm trying to save you the embarrassment. He probably didn't want to hit this hole and all that shit like this because he know it'll look even worse. But look, 
anyway. It doesn't matter. You still went to jail and folks laughing at you because you got beat up. You probably could have, you know, did some shit, whatever like that. And not a, you know what I'm saying? But you did what motherfuckers claim that a man is supposed to do. Just take the ass whooping and don't put your hands on them. And you still get laughed at. That's why I'm telling you, you know what I'm saying? Go on here and do it, dog. Go on here and do that shit, dog. Better yet, just leave. Just leave. Big Facts Podcast, I'm Ayo Canseco. Make sure you hit the PayPal and make sure you go to the change.org petition down in the description box so you can just go to change.org and type in Men to Movement. Come right up. I'll see you in a minute. Love.